Leaky roofs, unsafe, rotting balconies. Just some of the issues the I team found at a public housing complex for the elderly in Holbrook. And residents tell us their homes are in disrepair. As WBZ's Christina Hager found, these problems are not uncommon in housing for senior citizens. Right here. You can see it. Whenever it rains, Diane Hammond gets a drip in her kitchen. You could see the water running down, and I put a bucket up. Overhead, a blanket of blue tarps. Residents say some of them have cloaked roofs for three winters straight. This, a moldy ceiling in the community room. Did you ever think that you would be living in a place like this as a senior citizen? No, no I have not. Since the I team started looking into it, the Holbrook Housing Authority got emergency funding to finally fix some roofs. But when a resident sent these pictures, we decided to visit and heard from others about a long list of problems. There's only one way out if there's a fire. One man showed us this hole in his elderly mother's balcony floor after his foot broke through. Residents say poor drainage is causing them to rot. Another balcony here blocked with caution tape. There's a new heating system, but... I have to put my heat up to almost 90 before I get any heat in there. The I-team obtained state inspection records showing a history of small problems piling up. Missing cabinet doors, ripped up floor tiles, leaky pipes covered with mildew and more. When this woman moved in, she found holes in mouse droppings. And outside... So this street light here has been out for two years. Just wondering if the executive director, Sherry, is here? No one from the Holbrook Housing Authority would answer our questions on camera, but in an email confirmed, one reason fixes take a long time, a lack of funding. Just because someone needs uh, subsidized housing, they should not have to settle for substandard housing. Senior advocate Caroline Villers sees these problems across the state. The lack of funding, particularly from the federal level, um, is created a, a real challenge. As it has in Holbrook, where Navy veteran Tom Carlo lives. And I've been three quarters away around the world. Now retired to more worries back home. We need to make a commitment that we support quality and safe, healthy housing. A new UMass Boston study shows this year Massachusetts edged out Mississippi as the number one state in the country with the highest rate of economic uncertainty among seniors. As a result, there's a long waiting list at places like this, and unfortunately, the experts say those lucky enough to get in often face similar problems. In Holbrook, Christina Hager, WBZ News.